So before we get started with this video, I want to announce that at 10k subscribers, I will be giving away an Intel NUC SSD and RAM. So enjoy the video and thank you all for watching. Adios. So as promised, how to set up your Intel NUC or your main PC. Now those four screws, you need a Phillips screwdriver, a small one preferred, uh, unscrew the screws, and this little trick that I'm showing you here when I'm pressing it up and down, yeah, the screwdriver is magnetized, but the reason for that is to show y'all that the screws don't not come out all the way, and I will show you in just a bit why. Once you get the four screws removed, well not removed, loosened up, you take off the plate, and this is why I'm showing you why you get them loosened up. They don't come out. Unless you apply pressure or force for it to pop out, then they'll come out. But that's just to prevent from you losing the screws. Because they're tiny, they're small, and if you drop one on the floor, it's going to be hard to find. Here we have the Samsung 960 EVO. And then here we have the crucial 32GB kit. So 16GB a piece. There goes your two slots for RAM. So I'm installing 1616, 16, which is 32. And of course you do get two slots for SSD. You can do 500, you can do 256, one terabyte, two terabyte. It all depends on what you can afford. Uh, SSD that I picked up was roughly, I think, 269. The RAM that I picked up as well, it was roughly almost close to $300. So yeah, I kind of spent all out on this little mini PC, but that's just to put this bad boy to the test and compare it to my PC builds. Now the little spot I touched up there, you want to make sure when you slide in the RAM, it clicks. So when you push it in, it clicks, slide it in an angle, as you just saw right there, and boom, you're good to go. See that little edge? That's where it has to click. It's kind of similar to the motherboard on our original desktop. They have to click in to know that the RAM is safely secured and in place. Now this is the Samsung NVMe SSD 960 EVO M.2. Go ahead and cut it open, and voila, this thing is tiny. Yeah, it's kind of like a Velcro to protect it from the packaging. And yeah, it's pretty tiny. It's like smaller than my finger, to be honest with you. And it's 500 gigabytes. So I'm kind of thinking, does this little thing go in on a standard SSD? Probably not. So let's go ahead and take off this screw. And that is the screw you take off to put it in. So when you slide this little SSD into the slot, it clicks a little bit. And then you put the screw back on and boom. The SSD clicks in. I'm so amazed how small this SSD is. Compared to the RAM, it's like, wow, I don't know, it's unbelievable. But yeah, that is pretty much the setup of the Intel NUC Canyon, or Skull Canyon to be exact. You put the cover plate back on, and like I said, the screws are loosened up, tie them back on, tighten them up, all four of them, and you're good to go. So you do take off the bottom plate. The top plate you do take off, but that's if you want to change the skull plate to a you know standard all black plate. Now setup's good, good to go, and now last but not least is to install the software, which I will do probably in a separate video, but not now. So if this video helped you out, please drop a comment below, some likes, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and don't forget 10k giveaway. This is GT, I'm out. See you guys and gals later. Adios.